What's going on YouTube? CT Shadows here. And holy shit, I hit my laptop. <laughs> I gotta stop moving my hands. <laughs> and I'm finally back to do the Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast with Roberto and Justin. And these are basically the regulars now. Uh, Jason hasn't been on because uh, he has some shit going on. Basically, we haven't done a podcast in almost a month. And there was good reason. We tried to do a podcast and there just wasn't enough to talk about. So we felt like holding it off until after Worlds, and now we have a bunch of shit to talk about, and it should be a really good podcast. Uh, so let's uh, go on to the other people that are here. Justin, go ahead and introduce yourself, faggot. What's up, guys? It's Justin Legend Rodriguez. And we have Roberto. Hello. Faggot. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Roberto is probably the best Yu-Gi-Oh player out of all of us here. Fuck you, Justin. You're not good. And... Um... <laughs> And we're uh, here to do, like I said, the, the podcast, and I wanted to get it like on iTunes or something, but it's a ridiculously long, stupid process to get into a podcast on iTunes, so it's going to stay on YouTube for the time being. And what happened, I think it was um, this past weekend, was Worlds in Las Vegas. This is the first one we've had in America in a while, I think, like maybe two or three years. So uh, E-Dragons won Worlds, right? Mm-hmm. And Roberto predicted them to win Nationals and Worlds, which is ridiculous, man. You're psychic. Clap it up for Roberto. Yeah, that's obvious. Clap uh, it up. For you, my friend. But, yeah, you, you came up with the prediction, man. And what brought you to that? Like, what brought you to the conclusion that Dragons were going to just take everything? Because Dragons just is the best deck overall. They have the most space. And, like, they can take the most cards in the main deck. Their side deck can be completely random. And it's just pretty obvious that they were gonna win. And it, they were gonna, it was gonna be more dragons than prophecy anyway. So it's just a higher chance too. Oh really? Yeah. I mean, I I honestly expected there to be a little more variety than there actually was, and I was completely wrong. Yeah, there was three three different decks I think. Yeah, which I think it was like dragons, prophecy, and that's maybe one evil swarm. Maybe one swarm I don't know. stun. Stun really? Yeah. Wow, and that did nothing. That was that was not in the top eight. <laughs> was he a drag? Was he a dragon duelist, or was he like the world's guy? Like you know? I don't remember. I'm not sure. All right, but basically, you know, if you look at last year's worlds, we had a dark world deck. Fucking Ro- Jero went in there with a fucking Exodia deck. There was an Insector deck, and there was a Samurai player. So last year's world, I mean, it was there was at least some variety, but here it was like dragons prophecy. That's it. That is literally it. Yeah. I, I wanted to see like the one rogue nigga go in there with like zombies and just like fucking fuck everyone <laughs> up and shit. No, but fucking I don't know. Yeah, these things are good. It bothered me that um that I, like I don't know why it bothered me that dragons won what it did. Like in the finals, I was like, all right, prophecy versus dragons. I want Prophecy to take it. I mean, one, he was Team USA, you know, fucking, uh, I think it was, his name was Keener or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you know, Team USA, and they got to the finals and fucking lost to some pudgy Asian kid. And, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he's a pudgy Asian boy. There's nothing wrong with that. He's a pudgy Asian boy. <laughs> Whatever, man. Uh, yeah, did you... What, Whatever, man. Point is, Dragons won, and I was disappointed. I, I really wanted to see more variety. Justin, were you watching Worlds? Because honestly, I watched like I watched like all of, both of Oliver's matchups that that uh, were on camera, which is a Dragon Duelist, the guy that ended Dragon up winning Duelist. Worlds. Oliver, the one that won Worlds. That uh, the, really yeah, that kid. Um, I I only watched yeah, his I matches. I, saw both matches. I, saw, I only watched him. Fuck you! Stop interrupting me, you faggot. <laughs> I only watch his matches because I don't know. I, he seemed cool or whatever. But honestly, I only watch that, and I I didn't even watch the finals. I was just like, fuck it. I'll figure it out eventually. I don't care. Yeah, I saw I saw both the Dragon Duel final and the uh, the Worlds final. How um, did the uh, How did the Prophecy player play in the finals? I uh, mean, he misplayed a lot. He, did he really? Yeah, yeah. He had solid the whole time. There's a play when he should have uh, went on. Um, when the guy, when the dragon player summons to go to put um, dragon face down, he had saw face him. Down? Yeah. Yeah, and he didn't. That, yeah, that was one play. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The dragon player summoned Sukiyomi, and he had a judgment, and he was going to put Jaugen face down, and then he went off. Yeah, I th- I'm pretty sure that like instead of doing that, he let it go face down, and then he chained um fate to put dragon face up, when, like to chain to a baby. Uh, did he do that? I'm pretty sure. I think that was the, that was the play. No, he activated fate to to something else, 
Oh yeah, that was that, that was so what I should have done. Get the that was on judgment on. Wait, you can spell spell book of fate flip some face down and face up. Yeah. Really? Just that's so weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna look up spell book of fate now. <laughs> Cause I mean I understood that it was a good card, but I didn't uh. Yeah, it's really I didn't think it was that versatile. I always thought, I, I just thought it was a book of moon. They always say, oh, it's a book of moon. They never tell me that it flips like both ways. I didn't even. Yeah. What the fuck? How does it even... Face down or face up or face up or face down. Uh, change one monster to either face down. Or... Oh fuck! That card's so good. It is good. I remember when it first came out, no one ran it. No one ran it. I mean, but that was before like they had the. That was before prophecy was bring out Jalgen, protect Jalgen. Yeah. That's when everyone started mining Rainbow Force and really they made uh, they made trap eight. Yeah, they, yeah, uh, yeah. The new builds like the Priestless build, like it ran the the Wing Blast. Oh yeah, I saw that uh, at Nationals. Yeah, I think uh, a kid top four and he made the uh, Phoenix uh, Wing Blast. But other than that, the one I that mean... won main Wing, uh, main wing Blast. Really? Yeah. Wait, the one that won what? Uh, it was it was um something in Latino America. Oh, you mean Latin America? Something, yeah. This nigga said Latino America. <laughs> it's, it's also, it's not, I'm pretty sure it's another name for it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> no, in one of those fucking countries, it's irrelevant. Like, <laughs> I'm such an asshole. Uh, like, the format may be different, but, like, it's still a good build. Yeah, no, it's, um, I'm pretty sure I could talk if I went to, like, Costa Rica or whatever. It's not that, it's whatever. Probably not. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not that good. I don't. I don't even have a good deck. Like I feel like I could top like YCS and should have had a decent deck. Or whatever. I don't have that kind of money. Which is fun. I think my samurai deck is worth probably as much as like the extra deck for dragons, which is fucking ridiculous. I mean, it's not that much anymore. Oh well, now that everything's getting pooped on. Drago stacks like seventy. Big has like fifty. Oh yeah, nothing. It's nothing. It's not a it's lot. No, the seventy dollars for a piece of cardboard <laughs> that you need three of. Oh, uh, nothing. It's not like it's duality where it was like a 130 until it got hit. Or not every, not everything needed duality though, did it? Almost everything did. Dragons ran duality. Well, here, well the dragon. thing, the thing, the thing with duality is that it's, it's a staple card. It's a card, yeah, to make, to make a deck consistent, and that's what it is. I mean, so, I wouldn't say that, I mean, yeah, it's just one of those cards that you can just splash in there. Yeah. Which is, that's what I appreciated about, um, I think it was Duelist Revolution. Oh, yeah. There were so many cards that came out of that set that you could just, like, like, oh, this deck needs that, like, umph or whatever. You're like, oh, or maybe my deck's not consistent enough. I'll throw in a, a duality or two. Right. But it's, it's usually three. But, I mean, you know, it came out with staple cards that we still play. We still play Valor. We still play duality. We still warning. play fucking warning. Warning's at one. Duality's at two. Yeah. The only, like, the only good card. Like, one of the best packs ever. What's up? D-Rev has to be one of the best packs. Oh, yeah, I think D-Rev like, is... Like, second to last. Right? I th it, it's either it's either that or, like, Phantom Darkness. That's what I was saying, yeah, like, Phantom Darkness. Uh, Phantom Darkness, it came out with all, like, it was, that was, like, a dad return era. It yeah. came out with, like, 6M United and, like, Diamond Dude and shit. Um, even, I think Yada Garage might have come up with set, but I'm probably really wrong about that. I don't know. Uh, I think U-Bell came out of that set. Wasn't it, like, a U-Bell deck around that time? I think you all there were good. I don't know. <laughs> it probably wasn't. <laughs> Just pulling that out of my ass. But um, another set that I thought was amazing was um, Photon Shockwave. It's not that bad. Because, I mean, uh, Wind Up Rabbit, Wind Up Zen Mains, uh, which we still use, uh, Lagia, Dolka, Rescue Rabbit, all came out. These, all these cards, Shard of Greed, which is decent. It came out of a mm. fucking... And then, uh, out of a Photon Shark Wave. And then for a while, people ran Infected Mail for like a week. <laughs> people were like, GB's with Infected Mail, broken. And no, no, it's not. But, I mean, yeah, it was an interesting set. I, I enjoyed it. I remember that that Photon Shark Wave was like what made the format. Like, for, it was like, oh, Dino Rabbit or Please, nothing. Yeah. Dino Rabbit Wind was ups. played everywhere. Not yet, not yet. Windups got big when yeah, Order like, of Chaos came out. I think they, like... Order of oh yeah, that's when they got their sharks and shit. That's when they got shark. That's yeah. when they got uh, Zen Mighty. Yeah. Zen Mighty at three. I think they got Hunter and Fo Hunter came out in Photon Shockwave too. Hunter. Yeah, yeah. wind up Hunter. Did Rat come out in? Um, Rat came out in Order of Chaos too. 
the so basically the wind wind up became a deck when Order of Chaos came out, and just Rabbit was a splashable card in Beast Control, in Beast Beast Warrior Control, like with that Tengu and shit like that, Tengu and like, Skill Grain or whatever. Mm-hmm. So Rabbit was kind of a staple card that we still use. Uh, what other sets are, have like defined formats? I, I, there's not that many, which is it's interesting because you look at a game like Magic: The Gathering, and they have sets that come out that they have cards that they use like for fucking year after year after year, and you don't see that in Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. Like one card that we still use is like they came the one like the cards that we use that like that came out like originally are like Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, and Judgment. That's like it. Because those are like ridiculous staple cards when fucking Yu-Gi-Oh was just starting out that they're like, fuck it, let's make these broken ass cards with barely any cost that like define games. <laughs> like fucking when Magic first came out, Black Lotus. Fucking Black Lotus is ridiculous. <laughs> if you play Magic the Gathering or just know about that card, it's ridiculous. And it came on like the first or second set of Magic. And it's worth stacks now. And it's still playable because it's just ridiculous. The same way that, uh, you know, fucking Monster Born and Dark Horror are still playable because they're ridiculous because Yu-Gi-Oh! wasn't balanced at all. And then, slowly we just started getting more balanced cards, like, uh, Warning, I guess. Warning? Is Warning balanced? <laughs> I mean, it is at one. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, I think I think 2000 is decent for, for the effect. Um, Judgment is a balanced card, which came out in, like, Metal Raiders. Uh, Mirror Force we still use... So he's like Torrential. I'm pretty sure Torrential was a pretty old card. It was like Gold Control. I mean, Mirafush, yeah, we're about to use Mirafush at 3, so... <laughs> yeah, that fucking list. Holy shit. Fucking speaking of that list, let's get right to it. Fucking the ban list that has been basically... I'm not going to say 100%. I'm going to say 90% confirmed. And I know people are like, who's 100% confirmed? Fuck you. It's 90% because it's not posted yet. So uh, the V-Jump scan came out. It's a shitty quality picture like every year. And I'm just going to read down that list uh, in case anyone who's listening to this podcast hasn't heard um, this ban list that we're people? referring to. Uh, yeah, yeah, the four, four people, people that that, uh, that watch my podcast or whatever. <laughs> so we have newly banned Burner, uh, ba- all, all the baby dragons, all the baby dragons, <laughs> Burner, Lightning, Reacted, and Stream, they're all banned, and Spell Book of Judgment. All right, so those are the banned cards. What do you guys think about that? I think that, like, it's that's smart what they did. Like, Konami, like, they never hit directly the problem. They always hit something, like, around it. Or they, they hit, like, the support. And, like, hitting babies definitely slows dragons. So you think dragons are still going to be playable? Um, not as playable. They're going to have to change the build. I don't think there's going to be one pure dragon deck that tops. It, it's looking, it's going to be a hybrid of something. From most likely plants. Because that's what I'm working on, too. Okay. And how do you feel about the banning, uh, the banning of the babies? <laughs> Justin, <laughs> it sounds like a really <laughs> shitty um, horror movie. The banning of the babies. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh shit. Uh, I I agree with it because you got to think about it. Like the the reason why I think Konami mainly banned the babies is because like a super rejuvenation and shit. Because if like if you open up like at least two babies, that's automatically two cards. I mean that's a that's four cards already in your hand after you, you do super Juju, you know. I mean you like, also okay. you you have to do, you have to open up two babies and two other dragons and then like a maxi if you open the action. So I mean it's not the babies by themselves obviously, but they are the problem when it comes to super Juju. Exactly, yeah. and they're searchable whenever you banish uh, the bigger dragon. So you just grab another one to your hand, and you can just do everything. You did last turn all over again. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, I think I think the problem was the uh, the babies initially. Uh, I understand that you know it's the big dragons that facilitate everything, but I think the babies are there as discard fodder for rejuvenation, which we all know is ridiculous if you yeah. get it off even once. Um, but the fact that you have the opportunity to get it off three times in one turn and go plus eighteen. If you discard fucking six dragons, which is ridiculously easy, um, you know, it's it's ridiculous. And the babies, without the babies, Super Juve is not a problem. Though. Even though I think they limited it in this list anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so the babies, decent hit. Spubble of Judgment, do we even need to talk about it? It shouldn't have even been made, honestly. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We don't need to talk about fucking Judgment. It's not a card that should have... It's like Gateway, even though Gateway's balanced. That's why G- Judgment Alive wasn't even 
Judgment wasn't even legal for six months. It's stupid. Why did they even make fucking this set? Fucking, oh, the set comes out, we're gonna ban half the Dragon Rulers and Spell Book of Judgment, no reason to buy it anymore. Get a Drago sack, that's like it. Well, There's nothing else out of, uh, what is it? What's the fucking set called? Tachyon Galaxy, yeah, there's like nothing well, else. Well, for like four months, it's because Kami made stacks. That's true. <laughs> That's, yeah. This is, this is like, I don't think they've made this much money in, in some like rabbit format or teledet format. Because this, this is ridiculous. Like, um, how expensive everything was. Maybe, maybe, uh, fucking, what was it? Yeah. Order of Chaos. Hornets, uh, Sharks, and Mighties. Wasn't that much. Budget players could make Insectors and Windups. That's true, I made fucking, I made, I made fucking, oh, Battle Pack, yo, people were buying that shit by the case. Battle Pack? Yeah, the first one. The first, yeah, Battle Pack, every Dawn, people were buying that shit by the case. Tour Guide reprint was like the biggest reprint since, like, Dad. <laughs> it was, yo, people were shitting, Tour Guide, up! <laughs> fucking nutting everywhere, dude. It was disgusting. <laughs> it was fucking gross. <laughs> we were buying that shit by the case, it was ridiculous, man, alright. So now on to the back to the list. Uh, newly limited, which means uh, you can only play one if you're stupid. Uh, Brotherhood of the Firefish Rooster. Why? He just came out like a week ago. Why? Why are you touching him already? <laughs> How bad is that card, man? Because I it's that, it's that Gishki nigga that got banned before he was released. Fuck it, <laughs> he got put to one. But no, uh, Justin, you're the only bad deck player here. So why is Rooster getting limited? I'm not that bad. I don't play Firefish. Okay, <laughs> what do you play? Play Fire King, right? Play Whatever. Fire. Does anyone does anyone know why Rooster is uh, getting limited? Is it really that good? Um, it makes it makes the three axes pretty good. But... Oh, it's a level three. <laughs> <laughs> huh? It's a level three. It's gonna make the three axes good. It's not the four axes. Yeah, well, like I'm saying, like it's just really good. I um, mean, if you say so, I honestly don't know how that deck works at all, man. It was it was random though, like. Rooster, I, like, that was the last thing I'd expect to see in Rooster. It's almost like Cyberstein, fucking crazy, man. It just came out. But not even, Cyberstein didn't even come out. It's like Stratos, and they like fucking E-limited Stratos. Oh, yeah. Um, Gen X Ally Birdman to one. Now, what the fuck is up with that? <laughs> I don't even know. That, that, that was one of the Konami's random hits. I yeah. heard it, like, facilitate some kind of Gallus, the star East OTK. Yeah, oh, Gallus, yeah. the Gallus OTK. Yeah. Is that really a thing that I should be worried about? Gallus yeah. OTK, it used to be, I mean, they hit Wynn and they hit, um, Birdman, so. I, think... I don't know. I don't think it's something that I needed to be worried about. I never saw, I'm never like, yo, son, I gotta sign these cards. For what? Gallus OTK, nigga? <laughs> like, <laughs> no. no. Last, last time I saw it was Rabbit Format. You gotta worry about, like, dragons and prophecy and evil, so no one's <laughs> siding in, like, fucking... I don't even know what the fuck he would side. This is how irrelevant this deck is. <laughs> Maxi, even though we're already maining three copies of Maxi in every deck. So, whatever, man. Whoever unplugged their headphones, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Because I can hear myself. Oh, not me. Justin, Just... plug in headphones. Oh, okay. <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> but one Seriously, thing like deck headphones. Deck format, like in all the hits, there's not gonna be one superior deck this format. That's what uh, uh, I mean, Evil Swarms didn't get touched. Evil Swarm are not gonna do anything. They're gonna lose to Firefest, they're gonna lose to Bujins, and they're gonna lose to like a whole bunch more. You think Bujins are gonna do Bujins are terrible, nigga. What? what? Bujins are gonna be able to Bujins are decent right now. When they get support, they're gonna be two one. No, I Gens think they're really good. No, I think they're, they're really bad. No, they're they're not good. They, they rely they rely on like oh, their you, honest. You, all you have to do is compulse their monster. What did you play against one Bujin and they said they're bad? I played against Bujin. Yeah, and, and one guy and decided they're bad. Dude, I've played against them multiple times. You know how much hype that deck has? Yeah, I mean, I t like I talked about it with a lot of people. Jin's isn't that bad. It's really good. If you play a right a right build, like if you play it right inside the right thing, it, it can be really good. Dude, it just sits on that one guy, Yamato, and that's like it, and they like, they defend him, all you have to do is compulse Yamato and push. I mean, that's, that's, that's for one turn. You still that's, have I'm saying, if you're pushing it, you push for game. And besides, like, you can get stuff like compulse anyway. With what, Lance, Chain of Turtle. Compulse, nigga? Turtle. Turtle? Turtle. Oh, yeah, turtle. turtle. 
fuck is a turtle? Nigga, it's a turtle. And they, uh, it's in the, when it's in the graveyard and one of your regions get targeted, you can remove it and then get... So that's it's what the uh, it's pretty good, actually. Shit. It has that, uh, it has an on it, it has a back row. I mean... I don't, I heard, don't, they don't run that much back row, they rely on monsters. Yeah, but like, they run back row too, to protect the Yamato. I guess. Uh, whatever, so I guess that's a deck. Uh, limited, again, uh, Mermail Abyssius. So that was, one. That was random. That was random, where? You don't it, think they should have hit Abyssius? It took the bullet for Dragoons. It was, I don't know, I mean, like, it was of one card level 7. That's, I don't think Abyssius did a lot. If anything, Dude, Abyssius, like, dude, the, I was playing at a regionals, and I played the guy who won YCS Miami. I, I was, like, round 4 or some shit, and I sit down, and I play Travis Smith. And I go, I open Gateway United or some shit, and I drop Sheehan, Shogun, Abyss Dweller. Right? Mm-hmm. And this nigga drops two Tias and gets no effects from the graveyard, makes uh, Abyss Gaios, skill drains my Sheehan and everything, and then Dark Holes me. You messed up. I didn't mess up. He <laughs> had two Abyss Tias. <laughs> he he could have also done, um, he could have done Scream. He could have done the Megalo. Like, Tias, I don't know. It didn't do that much. Well, we this have nigga more said ups. Stream when yeah, fucking st- Dragons aren't even out yet. We're, we're talking about the, the tournament that he was in. Oh. I mean, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it, it was like a week before Titan came out. Alright, yeah. I mean, there's still more things you can do. Still, though, the fact that he made a rank 7 by dropping two cards, and if I didn't have an his spoiler, he would have plussed off a bolt to me. Mm-hmm. Well, only out of one. He, uh, well, I mean, he, he only gets one a, search. He pitched the Dragoons. Tess, I mean, yeah, but like, Tess, it's only one search. Like, you only, you only use the search if I close for train. Yeah, okay, but you pitch Dragoons for Teus. Get yeah. two searches. And you get a level 7 monster. Okay. That's broken. You search Megalo and you search something else, and then you pitch those two and you have an instant rank 7 right there, and you, you barely minus. Even If anything, you plus. You do. So, Teus to 1. I think it's a good hit. It makes complete sense to me. Yeah, it's it's not bad. I'm saying it's kind of random though to me. Okay. I, I'd rather have Teus than uh, Dragoons to 1. That's terrible. Maybe maybe Dra- Dragoons to two. Dragoons open till TKs. Dragoons to two, but honestly, I mean, every deck needs a search. Dragoons should have been banned or hit. Banned? Banned or hit? Yeah, Dragoons like it's it opens OTKs too much. Like, Fuck, dude. Okay, but you're telling me dragons shouldn't have gotten banned? They all search. And that's why they did. They got banned. That's like, why that's the, the babies got banned. got banned. Yeah, they took the bullet for dragons. I mean, the dragons aren't that bad. Like the dragons facilitate everything. If you run all four dragons in a deck, like if you're trying to run that, it's gonna be terrible. Because we're gonna do banish to one. That, that's your one play per turn. Get a search. Well, see, this is the thing. Um, they weren't supposed to be fucking. Uh, I'm pretty sure Konami made the elemental dragons to be splashed into decks. But yeah, that, that's what they were originally for until babies came out. Well, that's they shouldn't have made the babies. Period. Then. <laughs> that, that goes for a lot of cards. That goes for like you know this is just gonna go in circles. Yeah. <laughs> Next card, wind up shark to one. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think about wind up shark to one? I mean, eh, it makes uh, eh. Konami joke. I mean, they should have done that like last format <laughs> when wind ups were a thing. I mean, that's and now it's like wind ups haven't done anything. Let's actually hit the card that was a problem. <laughs> uh, let's skip Slow over this Konami. card. Yeah, for real. Uh, fucking number eleven, big eye to one. Thank you. Thank, thank Jesus. Thank yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Uh, divine wisdom, this valley is just a Gallus OTK or some bullshit. I don't know. I think so. Super rejuve, uh, to one. It should have been banned, but whatever. The babies are banned anyway. Nah, I mean and... rejuve was amazing because of the babies. That's why. I mean, yeah. So I guess still not that bad. Uh, so bisphere to one. Thank you because now I can finally blind MST mermails without even caring. That's still bad. <laughs> it's. T- <laughs> that's call. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. It could be yeah. a thing. I mean, they run Pot of Avarice, so who knows. Uh, now, one card that I skipped over that I wanted to save for last. Coming off the ban list to one. Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. oh. Trish. Trish is coming back. <laughs> I feel so good. God, I should have sold my Miss Worm. Oh, man. Man, but I remember when I first bought my Trish, man, it was like 2011 or whatever. I bought it for like 30 bucks. And fucking, 
I don't know what happened to it, and I'm sad now because Trish is coming back, and I don't have a Trish. <laughs> yeah, I know. I lost my Trish. Does anyone have a Trish? Do any of you guys have a Trish? I have a Trish. <laughs> you have a Trish? Yeah, a Trish. I found one. I found one on the floor by uh, by old stuff before they moved. I found it on the floor. It was mint and everything. I was like, fuck it. Yeah, that was yeah. after it got banned. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Look, look at it now, nigga. You're right, you're right. This is one card that I honestly thought would never come back even though it should have. Right. I, I thought it was like Goyo. Goyo is not a problem right now, but it's never going to come back. But I could be wrong, because uh, I honestly thought Trish wouldn't come back, because I think I think Trish and Goyo should have came back. We need both of those in the same format again. Mm. Yes, yeah. <laughs> do it. <laughs> do it. Bring Goyo back. Give, give my Samurais a fighting chance. Yeah, fuck you. So Trish is back, everyone's on board, because everyone loves Trish. Who doesn't love Trish? Making Trish was like the best feeling ever. <laughs> it was. Alright, so now back to two, or down to two. Even though ev everything that went to two on uh, this list is actually going up. Uh, BCR back to two. Glad Beast, maybe. Maybe gonna Perhaps. do something. They have a lot of support cards. Maybe, maybe they it's won't be a, a chance. Anymore. Yeah, I mean, I think Best Yard to two is a good move. Uh, I'm glad they're giving old decks a push. Gores to two. What the fuck? It's still not. I think, because I honestly th I think if you drop the first scores, you've taken so much damage, the second score is going to be dead. So I think that was kind of weird. I mean, not if you first turn gores. Then you, you, if you first turn gores, you have a 27 meter for free, kind of. And uh, usually first turn, that no one pushes for much. Yeah, but then you have to play your field around the gores in your hand. I, I, you know, it's a thing. It's a thing. But uh, gores to two, interesting, interesting pick. I mean, sure, Godi is at two, so I mean, why not? Maybe plants. And tr I think Trigodi is a little better than Gores in some ways. They can get yeah. it, there's no limit to its attack, and the ability to uh, take control of your opponent's monster is pretty good. He's versatile. Yeah, exactly. And he he uh, changes his level too. So I think you know Trigodi Trigodi is a little more versatile than Gores. Is it? At, it's at two, right? It's not at one. Two. Okay, good. Uh, Neo Space and Grand Motor too. I'm scared because my Shein hates Grand Mold. <laughs> my I hate Grand Mold with a passion. Both my decks have boss monsters that get shit on by fucking uh, Grand Mold. Uh, Battling Box or Lady Oak and Shein. <laughs> they both get pooped on by fucking Grand Mold. And now he's at two. Fuck you. Boxers beat you. <laughs> boxers <laughs> won. In front of your fans. Oh yeah, in front, oh yeah, that one game. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, um, so Grand Mole's back to two, and I think this is just gonna facilitate, this is just gonna tell players to play stall decks. Uh, one day, one day's at one, so, I mean, it's gonna be harder, but, I mean, three they have Grand Mole, and they have three Mirror Force, and they have three Magic Cylinder, and there's three Threatening York. So, I mean, and now there's two Grand Mole. And, and there's goats. two Gores now. And three Goats. Three, oh, yeah, that's another thing we haven't gotten to. Uh, last card to be semi-limited is Black Whirlwind. Good. Good, just, just. Just give it to them. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah Ganavi's trying to give like gold ducks a push. I like that. See, every semi hit except for Gores was a push to it. Well, not Grandma either. Unless you play Neo Spatians. <laughs> they got that miracle contact, boy. God damn. Heroes. Um, <laughs> newly unlimited. So Suki Omi to three, of course. Uh, Wind of Magician. They um they semi limited it or they limited it last format. But now, since they limited Shark, they brought Magician back to three. That was weird. Uh, maybe they actually stopped smoking the crack that they were smoking and realized that Shark was the problem. <laughs> uh, advanced Ritual Arc to three. Whatever, dude. Fuck Harold. I, I don't care. I, Ophion smell, is a card. I smell Harold's. Fuck you. Ophion is a card at three. I smell perfection. Uh, it still exceed Black. E Emergency Call to three. Uh, okay. I mean, she and Smoke Signals at three. Dragoons is at three. Fuck it. Why not? Why, yeah, why not? <laughs> Uh, pot of Duality. A lot of these hits are like, fuck it, why not? Uh, be fuck it, no, 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 let's go back up. Let's go back up the fucking list. Spellbook of Judgment, eh, fuck it. Uh, Firefest Rooster, eh, fuck it. Birdman, fuck it. Winder Shark, fuck it. Trishula, yeah, fuck it, just bring it back. Uh, Miss Valley, fuck it. Abyss Fear, two words, fuck it. Uh, Black Whirlwind, no, oh, fuck it, why not? Grand Mole, fuck it, why not? Cores, uh, nah, fuck it, whatever. Uh, Tsukiyomi, yeah, it's not doing anything, fuck it. Uh, advanced Ritual Art. Nigga, who plays that shit? Fuck it. Emergency Call. Whatever, dude. Uh, whatever. Just give heroes a push. Pot of Duality. It should've never gone to two. Fuck it. Scapegoat to three? Yeah, why not? Uh, Mirror Force to three, I have a problem with. <laughs> <laughs> Mirror Force to three was not a fuck it. That is like, yo, what the fuck is your problem, nigga? Oh, Mirror Force to three. three. Mirror Force. Three Magic scary. Cylinder. Yo, three Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, <laughs> three <shit>. Scapegoat. <laughs> 
So basically, this format is you're going to see like a chainburn deck or a stall deck for sure. Three scapegoat, three mirror there. force. Yeah, it's it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be a versatile format, like you said earlier. Mm -hmm. Now that we've gone down the bat list, and hopefully we didn't trail off so often that you don't remember what the fuck I just said, because <laughs> I just went on a whole fuck it rant, and <laughs> I'm assuming that was a little distracting. <laughs> Um, but what the fuck? Who's watching something on YouTube? Whatever, I'm just gonna ignore it. You know who you are. You feel bad on the inside. So um, <laughs> now that we went over the fan list, <laughs> um, any decks that you guys think are gonna make a comeback or that are going to be things this format that perhaps weren't things before? Fire heroes. Heroes. Heroes are gonna be why? Because of Neo Space and Grand Mool? That um, hero what? set like, has always been like amazing because you can set like, j almost just about anything, and the fact that they have like more back row now, and the fact that the format's a little bit slower, I think they can do something. Plus the fact that they run infinite back row, they have OTKs. The last time we said heroes were gonna be OP, nothing happened. I don't remember the last time that happened. The la no, I'm telling you, it was, um, I'm trying to remember the format. This was, you know, when Thunder King was still at 3, obviously. Last, um, last time they were good to me, I remember Order of Chaos. They were still not that bad. It was... Oh, when, uh, fuck, the dark nigga, the dark hero. Rabbit, rabbit. Oh, no. When, yeah, yeah, when, when, yeah, um, when a screwy dog came, out. When it, yeah, when he, that nigga came out and Super Poly still at 3, Everyone was like, Heroes are gonna be OP, they're taking all your shit, nigga, hide your kids, hide your wife, cause Super Poly, Super Poly, anything, nigga. <laughs> so, that format, it was like, yo, Hero Blast, you get your shit for the free or whatever. The fuck? So, yeah, if you Hero Blast, you just get an alias back, um, and Super Poly and stuff. So they had some nasty combos. And now that they had, uh, you know, a hero for every attribute, so they could just take everything with Super Poly, everyone thought that heroes were going to be broken and all this fuck shit. And Heroic Champion Excalibur was a card and all this fuck shit, and fucking Gawain and whatever. But, it honestly, uh, it wasn't, it turned, out, it turned out not, I'm not saying they're bad. He, a squid and heroes were, were, like, the best thing. Well, yeah, because it was a good anti-meta for the, for the meta. But, I can't I mean, like, it was a good, it was a good, um... It was a good response to Rabbit because Rabbit couldn't get over Super Poly. Rabbit couldn't no, couldn't get over Big Beaters. Period. I think everyone, you yeah. know, when it was, uh, heroes were really hype when Chaos Dragon, Chaos Dragon format, which was Rabbit format. It was Chaos Dragon, Rabbit, Injector, and everyone was like, okay, all those attributes get shit on by Super Poly. Yeah. So heroes must be good. But I mean, it all depends on how you look at it. Heroes might be good this format. But I just specifically remember, like, the last time people said heroes were going to be good, they were just okay. Uh, any other decks that... I, I honestly think uh, Samurais could be pretty good this format, just because it slowed down. Mm, I don't see Sheen doing all Fire Kings. Nigga, can we talk about one deck at a time? What would you say, Roberto, about Sheen? <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't think he's going to be that good anymore. Just because everything is so big, and the fact that, like, he can die easily... The, whoa, did you just say the, the like the best replace effect in the game? The best replacement effect in the game could die easily. Yeah, because like there's almost so many no spam cards right now. That, like you can just what? take a Sheehan, like with a big guy or with a... the big guy that's going to one and dragons are getting shit on. Like <laughs> dragons are the only deck to run big guy. Okay, uh, prophecy. Box. If prophecy replays fucking um uh priestess, if pri if priestess becomes a card again, then they'll run it. Uh, Machinas will run it again, but I mean, Machinas aren't even that big of a problem. What, what type? Water? Yeah, water was a problem. Not gonna lie. Still a problem. Uh, <laughs> not really. Dragons are on the, Water is still not that bad. Like, I'm not saying it's bad, but I mean, it got... Those two There's... Hits. Dude, the two hits were good, because... Let's say, um, you know, the, the one big problem with, uh, the deck is that, you know, like, if you negate a, a sphere or whatever, they could just activate another one. So, they're not... Now that they only have one sphere, uh, usually it's easier to get rid of it with Sheen. I'm not saying that it's going to be a best matchup because I'm not the water format. That was the deck that gave me the most problems um, because it was faster, and they brought out bigger beaters faster, uh, and it was hard. But I mean, I think it's a winnable matchup. I honestly do. Uh, with cards like Abyss Dweller and uh, Back Row Hate, I think, uh, and Hand Traps, I think it's I think it's a winnable matchup. More winnable than it was when it first came out. Uh, but who knows? Because Trish is now they now have a one card Trishula in Deep Sea Diva. Mm -hmm. 
Diva, Fair Marksman, Marksman swings, brings out Dragoons, Dragoon swings, main phase two, make Trishula. Which is pretty fucking bonkers. But that's why we main three maxi, three Baylor. Or two Baylor, two Breakthrough, or whatever you prefer. Uh, Fire Kings, you said are gonna be a deck? No, they're not. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, Fire well, Kings. Not bad. I'm not saying they're bad, dude. I'm just fucking busting his balls because I hate Fire Kings. I hate all this hype that these fire decks are getting, and they do nothing. Nothing. Fire Kings are the structure that comes with duality. That was like it. <laughs> that was the only reason I cared. Fuck <laughs> That was the only reason I gave a shit. <laughs> and then they're like, Wolfberg is gonna come out, and we're gonna win everything. All right, now watch, watch for YCS Toronto. Now that Wolfberg's out, now that Yaksha is out. Uh, I mean, I don't even want to say Rooster, because Rooster's at one. <laughs> no one cares about it. Um, but yeah, watch. It's not going to do anything. Honestly, what's your best play? Right now, Fire King player. What's your best play? Set Yaksha Pasco. Set ya A set. The, like, the slowest mechanic in the game is a set. I mean, what do you set. do? What, what, is, what does Yaksha do? If it's destroyed, I destroy Fire Monster in my hand or on my board. So I destroy my Garunix, and then... I expel from my Grunix from my hand from my grave. I dark hole the board and then I go off. Your best play is a minus one. This play's not a minus one. Not if you I'm destroy, gonna destroy everything. If on you the destroy board. if you do if you destroy something in your hand, it's a minus one. Whatever, nigga, you'll see. See, you see? Roberto, come on, say something. This is terrible. <laughs> well, Fire King I mean, the reason I'm that bad is because you still have you still have Fire Fist support, and you still have the rings, and you have. He doesn't want to use deck. Fire Fist support. He doesn't run tanky or bear. Then you run a bad deck. He doesn't like the Fire King, dude. Can run I, bear tanky and tanky. Or bear. He doesn't play. The, he doesn't play the. I'm like, dude, play like two tanky. He's like, no, man, I fucking, fucking hate Fire League, Fire Fist. That's bad. Dude, play tanky. Play tanky. It's a rota. It is a rota that boosts your monsters. Why wouldn't you play that card? And, and it's, it's better to use it with Circle and um and not for the eighteen hundred guy. He yeah he plays Circle but he doesn't play Tanky. Yeah. Dude, watch the whole fucking interwebs is gonna shit on you for not playing Tanky and Fire King. Like get the shit Fire King player out of here. Yes you do. After a while you're gonna read the comments like come on man why can't you? I thought we were <laughs> friends. I thought, I thought you guys were my fans. But you get right here man come on. All right so. One deck that I'm really interested in that fucking Roberto introduced me to by spanking me up and down fucking dueling network. Uh, Dragon Plants. Where it's a plant deck with Redox and Tempest. And explain your deck because I, I don't know. I don't know. You did some fuck shit. You, re, you used Dandelion more than anything. You've used Dandelion in that one match more than I've ever seen it used in my entire Yu-Gi-Oh career. <laughs> <laughs> you brought. You were like banish tempest, surge to breeze. Holy sh! What you can do that? I was fucking dumbfounded, kid. Explain your deck, cause I, I have no idea how the fuck it works. I'm, I'm gonna do it now. now. I'm gonna get it. You don't um, have to just explain what it does. Like it's just it's the same thing as like like plants and like dragons, kinda. Like you just try to go off like one or two plays per turn. You try to use crane crane, crane with trooper or crane crane with um, the breeze. And it's so versatile because the um, all the redox specials, so you can do something like Lone Fire uh, Special Dandy, then Redox bring back Lone Fire Tribute, Lone Fire Special Spore, and you can like and you can keep doing that. And then I run like three threatening roars. That way, when stuff gets Valor, like a Lone Fire or something like that, you have roar. And then you can run Sword to get rid of your dead boars or to get one of the get rid of one of the dragons so you can search like a debris to your hand. Like it's really good. I run it with a lot of back row. So that way, um, even when I go off, like going off isn't the only thing I have. I still have back row to like to protect myself. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I also saw that you uh you ran seven star sword. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, can you seven star sword a gore's token? Um, let me read it. So it says banish, but tokens. Yeah, I you think, can. I mean, you you can deprison them, so. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can banish. So that's pretty broke. That's that's dope as shit. Um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, uh, I played against it. And, you know, like, Crane Crane for Dandelion into the Tree Bitch, uh, which is a new plant, rank 3 XCs. It was actually really good. Yeah, melee, um, the Ashwood. The fact that you, uh, you know, you can detach uh, Dandelion and get your two tokens is fu is phenomenal. Uh, you and didn't then know you that? can. I, I knew that, but, like, the way he, like, the way the play works, like, he'll detach for Dandy, um, for, the, for the Tree Bitch, 
Foolish like a spore, get the two tokens, and that's a level five synchro. Um, and the way he utilizes uh, Black Rose, like you, he makes Black Rose like forty times, and he gets the tokens, and then he seven star swords it, or he can overlay because he plays Redox and Tempest. Uh, basically, if you open Redox uh, and Lone Fire, you basically have a shooting star because Redox is a reborn, and reborn and Lone Fire equals a shooting star dragon. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't run it. I don't run it. It's, it's, well, yeah, you don't run it. It's not mainly a synchro build, but yeah, it's it's. Well, I, I do run synchro. I run ten synchros. It's mostly control. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you play you play like your one, your two to three plays a turn, and then you kind of pass it. But I mean, I don't know the way the deck. The, you open consistently. You open bad like one game, and the fact you open consistent so many of the games, and I think that had to do with uh, the seven star sword, or the ability to um to foolish burial the plant monster that you needed with the plant bitch. Uh, do you run tour guide in there? Um, I was thinking about it, but tour guide has um she has no synergy with anything else besides the tour rank guide. three plays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Car Trooper is another card that facilitates your shit. Yeah, uh, Car, Car Trooper is a 19 like, beater he's that. A, he's one of the keys to that. Yeah, honestly, uh, that guy's amazing. He's, he's a 19 beater, basically, if you mill three, and milling is what you do. You have the dragons, you set up the dandelion plays or whatever. And he's not a minus at all, because uh, you get you get paid back for summoning him on the board, which is great. Yeah. And especially uh, late game when you're like all milled out, you can always pitch Trooper in the Redux special. Yeah, exactly. That's what I like about Redox. Um, that, I think he has the best effect out of all the dragons, uh, the monster born effect. Definitely. But um, yeah, I thought it was a really interesting deck, and it sh- you should, if you're listening to this podcast, uh, fuck you if you copy the build. I don't think we're. I'm, I'm gonna no, probably I'm snapchat. Not the, I'm not the only one. I saw, like I've played a few mirror matches. I mean, they're, they're really? running like some. Yeah, they're running some different things. Like some people are running, like Jun Synchron and tuning and some other stuff. And, and, and it's too inconsistent because they waited too long to go off because they can't draw like what they need. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, I think uh, one of the strongest thing it has going for it is the rank seven plays, uh, and the searching to breeze off of uh, Tempest is uh, nasty as shit. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think can that deck make Trish live? Oh uh, yeah, it can. How do you make Trish? Um, it's easy. You go um if you have like yeah like a five a f- like a three and a two. Not a two, or like a two and a like. Two oh, damage. I just thought about it. No, if you have a one, if you have a dandelion token, a dragon, and a spore, that's nine. Yeah. There's also like um, Danny token, a redox, and a spore. That's what I just said. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I'm I'm just I'm really I was really impressed with that because I've never seen it before and it put in a lot of work. Uh, one more thing that we have to talk about uh, the tins. Alright, so uh, the tins got announced, I think, like a week ago. Like, all the re- I think there's still one more card to be announced. But right now we have um, uh, the Blaster tin. We have, obviously, Blaster, Secret Rare. Uh, we have Super Rare. I think uh, both tins are coming with Super Rare Bear. Let me just look it up right now. We have Secret Rare Blaster, uh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist uh, Bear, getting a Super Rare reprint, which is cool. Uh, Kurakuri Shogun MDL00 Beret, which is the good one, which needed the reprint that came out of Star Strike Blast. Uh, I think Black Luster Soldier is unconfirmed, um, for like which tin it's gonna come in, but it's, it's getting reprinted. Uh, and then in the title tin, we have the, you know, the Bear, and their Super is Cataster. So basically, uh, Cataster Beret and Bear are the, and BLS are like the reprints that everyone's shitting over. And these, I think these have the potential to be, uh, the next Hanzo tins, which how uh, which how great the reprints are, because uh, BLS has needed a reprint since it came back, other than uh, the the secret rare that it came in Yugi's world, and the other uh, gold rare. Uh, Bear, you know they're trying to hype up the Fire Fist, that's a good reprint. Beret, I mean characters haven't done anything in a while, but Beret just needed a reprint, in my opinion. And then Catastro, I think that was kind of unnecessary. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I mean, it's just he's coming in super, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean it hasn't it hasn't gotten reprinted, I think. Yeah, I mean it, it came dual terminal, it came hidden arsenal, and it came uh, ultimate rare and, and turbo pack. Yeah, and this format is gonna synchro a bit, so. Well, yeah, they're trying to hide back the synchros. I, I mean, maybe Catastor needed a reprint, but uh, I think maybe Trish needed a reprint more than Catastor. Mm, yeah, I think so. Uh, but what's interesting is the packs that you're getting. You're getting two Abyss Rising and two Lord of the Tachyon, but the fifth one is either Hidden Arsenal 4, 5, 6, or 7. So if they put Hidden Arsenal 4 in this tin, it's like basically fucking confirmed that Trish is coming back. Because they're going to have to start reprinting fucking Hidden Arsenal 4, which is going to be ridiculous. 
So I'm really excited about that. Um, ugh, dude, the fucking Redox and Tempest Tin are coming with a Number Hunters pack. Get the fuck out of here. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, so bad. At least they're coming out. I mean, yeah, I just I like to see them all shiny. Like I was watching uh, Worlds, dude. I was I was fucking depressed. They have all super dragons yeah. and shit, man. It was nice. The blaster. Yeah, every, every dragon was super fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, but that was <laughs> basically everything. <laughs> that was everything we needed to talk about in this podcast. I hope that you guys uh, haven't left me yet. Because it took almost a month to make this one. But, um, yeah, we're going to wrap it up. So go ahead and say what you got to say. Uh, Roberto, say some shit if you want. And Justin, you can come after him. Um, yeah. Watch his videos and shit. <laughs> Vagisil. Vagisil. <laughs> Our sponsor, Vagisil. Tell them Roberto sent you. Don't. Yeah, for real. Yo, code Yu-Gi-Oh! Podcast. You get a discount on Vagisil products. I'm telling you. Yeah, you go to their website, you order at least $50. If you put, if you input the code Yu-Gi-Oh! Podcast, yo, you get like 10% off all Vagisil products. Yo, how fucking baller would that shit be? How baller would that, yo, fucking in the beginning, I opened the podcast, so I'm like, what's up? What's up, YouTube? CT Shadows here. I want to let you guys know before we get this started. 10% off all Vagisil products. Go on Vagisil.com. Input the code Yu-Gi-Oh! Podcast. <laughs> You get 10% off all Vagisil products for your lady, or even if you a tranny nigga, get all, get the fucking, get it, man. You know, if you're a woman that has a penis, you can use Vagisil, who knows? <laughs> 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 no, um, basically, I don't know when I'm gonna do the next podcast, honestly, guys, I'm sorry, I'm lazy as shit. But if, if you guys spread the word, and this gets, like, more views than it usually does, which is, like, 300, then I'll definitely start doing it more regularly, but... Me sitting down for, like, 40 minutes to talk about shit and then not get compensated or not, like, get views is starting to get annoying. Uh, but, yeah, if you spread the word and you, like, if you really want this podcast to be a thing, then talk to people about it. Because you, one person listening to me, is not doing me shit right now. I want to become, <laughs> I want to become nice. fucking Slim X Team Symmetry famous. 15,000, yeah. Fucking, <laughs> that'd be great. I think he's at 20,000 now, actually. But, uh, whatever, I have, like, 70 subscribers, so I'm not even close. <laughs> Alright, man, uh, thanks for tuning into the podcast. I'm sorry it took so long, and we'll be back sometime in the future. <laughs> Later.